everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony North Easton and um, yeah here we are back at Jarrah Road for part two of building these canopies uh, it's Monday the 16th of January and uh, let's just see how far I can get in four evenings which is roughly going to work out at about eight hours two hours a night so hopefully we should get them somewhere nearly finished. So let's get cracking. So here we are back at Tony's bench and you may have seen me do this in the last canopy video where I was just scoring the fold with my thumbnail just to get a sharp crease. Um, at the moment if you look down this ledge here or down this edge here you can see it's a bit bumpy but if you run your thumbnail down it nice and straight you get a nice sharp edge and that's what we're after so this is ready to glue onto the left hand canopy in the same way as we did the right hand canopy. So what I'll do is I'll put the rule in like we did last time which will straighten up the back and hopefully glue this in place nice and straight. So I've cut some 2mm card up into 3mm strips and that's what I'm using to stiffen up this edge and giving it a bit more gluing surface. making sure that I'm flush with the top um, just push that corner up a little bit yeah and hopefully that'll just give us a bit more addition for gluing this strip in Okay, so that's that edge uh, glued in place. So what I'll do, I'll leave that in there along with the rule uh, until it's dry. Um, so we'll put that to one side and then we'll concentrate on the right hand one. Now we got a little bit further last time with the right hand one. I just started to put the, um, the glazing supports in. And that's just one mil card cut into five mil strips. Uh, you probably noticed I've stuck a little bit of card in there. Um, yeah, I do make mistakes now and again. Yes, I uh, cut too much out there. Um, so obviously the wall butts up against this edge and I cut that away thinking that this roof goes around the wall but it doesn't it finishes flush but uh, yeah so I've super glued a little bit of card in there when it's painted you might not be able to notice it but uh, we shall see so I shall continue gluing in the glazing supports Five so here we are Tuesday the 17th of January and um, I'm still putting in the glazing supports but this time I have started on the left hand side um, so a couple hours just managed to get the right hand one done so now I'm working on the left hand it's amazing how much time this scratch building malarkey takes so a couple Right, so we finished putting in the glazing supports on the left hand um, canopy. So now it's time to mark out where these column supports are going to go. Um, so what I've decided to do is 24mm to the centre, so I've come in 18mm and hopefully that's to the edge of this plate. Um, so that will sit in there like that and then what I'll do is I'll mark a line this side and then when I come to paint it I won't put any paint on these areas 
so that the columns will glue directly to the card. Um, you can make your own columns up of, um, with straws and um, uh, barbecue sticks. If you get a straw, so if you can imagine if this is your barbecue stick, and then put a piece of straw on this end, a little bit of straw on this end, and glue a little bit of uh, plastic card to the top and bottom, then you can make up your own columns. Just thought I'd uh, share that little idea with you. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'll mark out for where uh, these columns are going to go, and then I can paint uh, this canopy. I decided to use the Humbrol White. Um, I did do a test sample on a piece of card with the acrylic white, and it goes on really, really thin. Um, I'm guessing it's because the card is just so absorbent that uh, it, it see that's just the humble white and it uh, goes on a lot better than the than the acrylic. Right, so we've made a start on painting the canopies now. And it's still only Tuesday. I won't be painting that face yet, or the front face, because we've got the faces to put on. But uh, I thought I'd make a start on the inside of the canopy. So here we are. It's Wednesday, the 18th of January. I've only just come up here and made a start on painting uh, this, or continuing painting this canopy. Um, in this matte humble white. Um, as you can see there, um, that's, that's bone dry off yesterday and uh, one coat seems to be enough. So the acrylic I think would have took two coats um, of, of white paint. So yeah, I'm just making sure I'm getting in all the creases, in all the corners and hiding any glue marks because there's always glue marks you, you just can't help it when you're doing stuff like this so and also I'm doing around the edges as well around the edges of the window frames or what's going to be the window frames in there that little edge along there we might see it we might not so it might just appear to paint that edge as well. So when you look down from this end, or this angle, you can see the edge of the beam, so that's got to be painted as well. So we'll see how far we get. And uh, we'll come back to you tomorrow evening. Hopefully both of these, the left hand and the right hand one, will be finished. Well, anyway, regarding the painting anyway. We are now on to a Thursday evening, the 19th of January, and I'm still painting these canopies. Uh, this is the left hand side one. As you can see in front of you, we have the right hand one, which is f now finished um, with the white. And uh, so we shall just continue with this and uh, hopefully get this one finished. Then we can start painting the actual roofs themselves 
which shouldn't take all that long because we haven't got to get any other paint into the nooks and crannies like we've got here so it shouldn't take uh, so long um, yes um, it's taken a little bit longer to get through all the comments um, as you probably some of you are probably w are well aware um, some of the comments I've just read are three days old and uh, <laughs> I do apologize for that for not getting back to you as quick as I used to do hopefully that will change soon um, yeah so this paint is uh, doing this one coat should be plenty because if this one here which was done yesterday um, it looks it's come through quite well there's hardly any um, glue marks come through or anything so I, I could leave that as that uh, yeah uh, what you have to be wary of is tr try not to let any glue get cooked stuck in that little lip that we've created for the glass because that will create a lump when we come to put in the windows and we can't have that especially when paint goes rock hard doesn't it so you see why it takes so long trying to get this paint into all so I've been painting these almost what three evenings now so what should we talk about oh yeah Vincent um, has to um, go down as having the longest comment I've ever seen. Vincent Ewing, that is. When I opened it up to have a read, it's almost a couple of chapters. So, yeah, I do enjoy the comments and uh, some great ideas coming through. Um, so yeah, keep the comments coming and hopefully I'll get back to you, well I always try and get back to you, it's just uh, got a little bit of paint there, don't want paint on there where the column's going to go so I'll just scratch, scrape that off. Doing, doing this edge along here as well because that even though that sits on the brick support you might just be able to catch a glimpse of that edge so if we paint that white as well it just hides the color of the card so that's the whites finished now we move on to the actual roofs themselves and uh, and I'm using this matte 91 now it's a really dark dark green um, with a hint of black in it and uh, I'm using this color um, because we don't have to add the moldy green that you get on these roofs so this has already got it in really so I may just have to add some grey smears to um, had some rainwater effects on it but uh, yeah I do like the way that this is turning out and so just going right up to the edges try not to get 
any into uh, that little ledge where the glaze is going to go. I've got me cotton buds at the ready just in case. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but the texture of the card is coming through, so it looks like it's got little, little bumps in it. Some free detail with a card. <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good once it's glazed as well. So I'm just doing the top as we got here, and the edge and the underside under there, but not on there because that's got uh, some fascias to go on once the roof is painted. And uh, that'll be the next job to do the fascias. But it'd be great to get these roofs finished regarding the two major painting jobs. And uh, as you can see straight away, it's looking like a roof. Now it's starting. Now that we're starting to add paint. Paint's going thin there, I'm going to have to give it a little stir again. There, yeah, I do like the way that that's turning out. Right, so I managed to finish the right hand canopy top roof. Uh, the left hand one is still damp so I can't touch that one. So what I can do is focus on this um, flashing that goes around the canopy. And uh, here we have a drop of 14 millimeters. So what I'll do is I'll mark this card that we have here into 14 millimeter strips. And um, We'll draw loads and loads of lines. That's 14 mil there. I'm not going to cut it yet, so what I'm going to do, I've sharpened my pencil up ready. I'm just going to run a line across there. And then we'll do the same again. I need about three strips each side at 14 millimeters and then one strip at 16 millimeters drop to go on the ends so you can see where I'm gonna go with this now this card is only half a millimeter thick so this will just go around the front as it were and sides so just carry on marking this up just, and now we shall start scribing some lines roughly about a millimeter and a half apart Right, so here we are, it's Friday, 20th of January, and um, yep, I'm still painting the roofs, but this roof happens to be the left-hand side one. Um, the right-hand side is sitting on the columns at the station at the moment, um, so that was dry overnight, and uh, I've just placed it there. Yeah, so we're a little bit start, late starting this week, but um, so the video will be uploaded a little bit late because Friday is normally my editing um, night for the videos, ready to be put up either uh, late Friday evening or early Friday evening, depending 
on how long it takes to edit them. So there we are. So yeah, this, this green is really working. It's really working. As you'll see uh, later on um, with the other, other canopy, which is uh, already at the station. So yeah, getting back to the comments, I've just about nearly caught up with the comments. It's taken us all week, a few here and a few there. And I do like to try and get back to everybody. And uh, hopefully I've done that this week. I noticed uh, Roy Stubbs has finally caught up with the latest videos. He's been trying to catch up. For the last few weeks now, he got way behind uh, just before Christmas, so he's caught up. Um, so, well done to you, Roy. And hopefully, yeah, we've, uh, you're going to catch up with this one when it gets updated. Right, so, yeah, you've had a little bit of a, an insight in this week's video of roughly how much I do each evening. Um, like I said, I try and do about two hours or I get to a stage where I like for instance yesterday I finished that other roof and I thought well that'll do for one evening um, so hopefully we'll get this roof finished this evening and then we can have a, a proper look with both canopies painted um, on the Station forecourt, as it were, or platforms. So, yeah, yeah, again, try not to get any paint onto that ledge where the glass will sit. It's very, I think this is very therapeutic doing it by hand. Um, I know a few of you will probably say, oh, why didn't you mask it off? And, and uh, do it that way. But trying to mask off all those little joints on the underside would, and getting the paint into the creases as well would have been quite awkward. I suppose I could have done that with these tops, but uh, no. I think with a bit of brush you've got a little bit more control. So hence why I do it with a brush. As they say, it's just another day in the office. I've still got to um, finish off doing them lines yet as well. Um, I can't see me finishing that this week. But uh, if I can get both of these roofs finished this week, I think that's a, a major job done um, paint-wise. And the fascias and the glazing uh, may come to light by the end of next week and the following week we'll be finishing them off I think probably weathering them and um, gluing them to the walls but we should see because uh, the glazing is going to take some time I think because you remember when I did the the roof for South Shields the all those hundreds of strips of plastic card I cut I might do something similar with uh, these roofs, well, we'll see. As you can see, I have finished drawing all the lines. There, there must be hundreds here. <laughs> so what I'm doing now, I'm sticking this 
0.5 mil card to some 1 mil card just to give um, this strip a little bit of rigidity uh, before I glue it onto the the, the roofs um, and hopefully it'll um, stop the curving of the roofs a little bit um, I think it, it will do but uh, we'll just have to wait and see uh, and also I've got to add some plastic stripping to this quarter round on the top and about three mil up we'll add some flat um, just to add that little finer detail so um, yeah so we'll start sticking this to the roofs and here we are almost at the end of the video uh, today is Saturday morning so hopefully we'll get this video up pretty shortly right so here we are we're back at Jar Road and it's just a case of just showing you um, the week's progress I know you've seen it all through the video but um, yeah it's beginning to take shape um, as you just noticed I have added some fascia along the right hand side canopy there uh, there's still a little bit of work left to do on that regarding the fascia taking the fascia back to the wall so we've come a long way this week it's been a bit laborious um, but these things tend to be like that especially when you're painting such um, long canopies um, just thought um, using that template you could use that template back to back and create a double canopy which will cover an island platform I just thought I'd uh, mention that if you for those of you who are doing canopies at the same time that uh, I am at the moment because I know there's a couple of you actually doing canopies so yeah just a, just a thought anyway all that's left for me to do now is um depart the train and depart the video so thanks for watching everyone catch you again next time bye for now bye